Welcome back everyone. Hi, if you're new, my name is Tori and today I'm going to give you guys a tour of Shakespeare and Company bookstore in Paris and also share with you my experience after visiting the store for the very first time. So before we get into the video, I do want to quickly mention that I am fully vaccinated and also have a booster shot and all of the COVID policies and guidelines for the US and France and the two airlines that I flew, United and Lufthansa, were followed. If you do happen to be traveling during this time, just make sure you're staying up to date with all of the new COVID policies that are coming out and also just being respectful of the country's policies that you're going to. So all that being said, um, I hope you enjoy this video. So I think I'm going to break it up by just, you know, chatting about the bookstore first, giving you kind of the breakdown and my experience inside and then um, doing like a montage of of the bookstore and then at the end I'll share with you the three books that I bought while I was there. So my mom and I were in Paris in early December for her birthday and it was a dream trip of hers to finally visit Paris and just to be there like during the holiday season and we had so much good food and good wine. Oh my god there's so much wine but just the whole trip was honestly just fantastic. So, so even though we were there for her birthday I had to visit a bookstore so that was pretty much the goal for me while I was there and have fun with her and then also visit a bookstore and Shakespeare and Company has been on my radar for so so long this is a world famous iconic bookstore I've been wanting to go here since I was in high school and just to finally be in the store and just perusing the shelves it honestly it felt like a dream while I was in there and so you actually can't film or take photos while you're in the store but I emailed the bookstore prior to landing in Paris just letting them know when I would be there and you know telling them a little bit about myself and just politely asking permission or if it would be okay or if not you know that's totally fine and they were really quick to get back to me and said yes come in and you know film but just you know be mindful of the other people in the store and here we are so first I do want to give a warm thank you to Carolina and the rest of the staff at Shakespeare and Company. Everybody was so warm and welcoming when I got there and just the staff experience as a whole was 10 out of 10 and I got a bag. It was it was amazing. So Shakespeare and Company bookstore is located in the 5th arrondissement on Rue de la Boucherie and right next door to it is this cafe and I just completely I don't know if I just like blanked on the fact that there was a cafe right there. I think my mom went inside but I was so laser focused on just getting in the bookstore and browsing the shelves that I just completely spaced that there was a cafe right there so can't speak to it but you know if you're there check out the cafe too. So the store itself is pretty narrow but when you're in there and just walking around and, and taking everything in the vibe in there is just so cozy and it's so warm and ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> Honestly if there was ever a bookstore where you just want to take a cup of coffee on a cold day and just walk around and sip coffee even though you can't sip coffee because you got it keep taking your mask off but if there was ever a day in like pre-covid times where you could just walk around with a cup of coffee and browse a bookstore shelves on a cold day oh, this would be it and to be as small as it is the store itself is so well curated it's actually much larger on the inside than you would probably think at first glance so when you walk in immediately you kind of step into this section of literary fiction and literary fiction just kind of sweeps around the entire first half of the store and then when you walk beyond that there is this little like nook space almost for science fiction and fantasy and horror and crime books and the stacks in there are just so well curated even in science fiction and fantasy I was browsing that section and there were some books in there that I had never heard of before there were some indie titles in there I've seen some additions in there that I've never seen before like SF Masterworks just on the shelves. It was I'm telling you it was an experience and then beyond the sci-fi room there's like this really nice space of poetry and I didn't get any footage of the poetry room because there were a lot of people walking in and out of there and I didn't want to get anybody in the video. So you'll see in the montage that a lot of my footage is kind of angled upward. When I watched it back I was like I need a film class and then coming back out to the front of the shop I mentioned it's all literary fiction and even the selection there is just it's so good. There's so much black literature on the shelves, young authors. It was honestly a really impressive selection of books that I was seeing walking around the store. And then off to like the left hand side of the literary fiction room you have some non-fiction and then beyond that you have your young adult titles. So just all in all it was such it was just such a fun morning visiting bookstores browsing bookstores it is just it's such a comforting 
you call it a hobby it's such a comforting hobby for me I guess but this experience was just on it was just top-notch I had such an incredible time in this store so I'm gonna share with you the clips that I got and again keep in mind I was trying not to get too many people in the footage so if you're looking up at the ceiling I'm sorry you're gonna see in the montage there is this beautiful on it is gorgeous there's this beautiful edition of Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb I've never seen it before I almost purchased it I picked that book up you see me pick it up in the video like once but I picked that book up at least three or four times in my hour walking around the store I put it back every single time the whole time I'm thinking I can't justify buying this book I haven't even finished the Farseer trilogy I'm not too familiar yet with if I even love Robin Hobbs writing or not so to drop that amount of money on that edition it would have been a it would have been a risk but I was really debating with myself so you're gonna see that obviously all the editions and there are the European editions but I was just really kind of blown away with how like gorgeous some of the Robin Hobb editions were so I do hope you enjoy let me know if you have any questions about the bookstore and come back after the montage and I'll share with you what I got welcome back to my living room <laughs> I picked up three books from Shakespeare and Company while I was there and we'll just start with the first one um, the first book I picked up was tell me how long the train's been gone by James Baldwin I didn't need an excuse to pick this up I'm a huge fan of James Baldwin's work he's one of my favorite authors and I'm just I want to make my way through all of his books and in this we're following a man at the height of his theatrical career but he unfortunately ends up suffering a heart attack and so as he's between life and death we just kind of get this sweeping tale it sounds like of his life 
and growing up in Harlem and just how he became so famous on the stage. And then the next book I picked up was the sci-fi novel Vagabonds and this is by Hao Jingfang and this is translated by Ken Liu. And so this sounds really intriguing. So it sounds like Mars now is fully colonized and Mars ends up sending back some students to Earth. I'm not sure of the purpose but students are sent back to Earth I guess maybe for some diplomatic reasons. And one of the students it sounds like is Martian but kind of torn between her allegiance between the planet she grew up on and you know and planet earth sounds intriguing we'll see what happens there but yeah this this caught my eye and then finally the last book that i picked up in shakespeare and company was the wolf den by elodie harper this is a historical novel and in it we're following this young woman amara who after the death of her father you know her life is just really turned upside down and so she then becomes a slave in one of pompey's infamous brothels and we're just following her life from there. But I'm like 98% sure that this book was mentioned to me by Sally. So Sally if you're watching this I recognized it when I was in the store and I picked it up so. So that's it for me you guys that's the bookstore. I feel like I'm just having difficulty like expressing how much of a dream that was and how much of an amazing time that I had while visiting Shakespeare and Company and just visiting the city of Paris as a whole. And again, I did visit a second bookstore while I was in Paris, so part two is going to be coming soon, and I hope you enjoy that as well. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.